After 50 years, Romulus, an ERA racing car, owned and raced by two Thai princes, returns to Thailand to compete in the race that was never run, the Bangkok Grand Prix. Prince Chula Chakrabons of Thailand was born of an Eastern and Western marriage between his father, Prince Chakrabons, son of King Chula Longhorn, and a Russian nurse, Katya Desnitsky. As a boy, he spent much of his childhood within the confines of the royal palace, under the watchful eye of his grandmother, Queen Sawapa. After his father's death, Prince Chula, aged 12, left Thailand for an education in England. It was visiting Eton in 1927 that he first met his younger cousin, Birabong's Banuban. In 1934, the two began motor racing. But what began as a hobby was to become a full-time obsession, an obsession to compete in a sport monopolized by British and European drivers and win. Chula, the team manager, knew that as foreigners from a then obscure Asian country, their efforts would have to be twice as professional in order to confound the skeptical British critics who thought the Thai princes had money but little else. By the end of 1935, with the purchase of two of the newly built ERAs, which were to become the most successful pre-war British racing car, their assault on the bastions of British and continental motor racing began. The cars were named Romulus and Remus, and the team was called the White Mouse Team, after Tula's Siamese nickname of Mouse. Leaving England for France in 1936, Prince Tula started out on a more ambitious foreign schedule. The Prince Rainier Cup at Monaco on April the 11th was the first continental race of the season. After a bad start in which Bira narrowly avoided a multiple crash on the third lap, the young Siamese and his British-made ERA Romulus drove a steady race to victory. To the applause of the French people, the Siamese flag was raised for the first time in honor over Monte Carlo's exotic harbor. Kun San Pasiri, writer and television personality. I think one thing Pira is the prince, and he is Thai, so proud of the country. And uh, Prince Jula and Prince Pira didn't enter the racing uh, just for fun or for money, but for the prestige of their country. In June 1937, Chula and Bira visited Italy to participate in voiturette races at Florence and Milan. Crown Prince Umberto, a close friend, who had met the two Thai princes in London, visited the race in Florence. He was a keen motor racing enthusiast, as were the Italian people, who saw their bright red Alfa Romeos and Maseratis as spearheading national prestige in this era of fascist expansionism. Not surprisingly, these two Mark dominated both races, and Romulus was forced to retire. But the Italians could not deny Bira's driving skills on the circuit. At Milan, he was given the chance to drive the larger Maserati, a make of car Chula had already purchased to include in the growing White Mouse team. August 1937 saw the team in Switzerland for the Prix de Bern. Here were more royal spectators. This time, their young Siamese cousins, King Ananda, aged 12, and his young brother, Prince Pumipon, aged 10, eventually to become the President King of Thailand. The two young royals, wearing the symbols not of state, but of Mercedes and Auto Union, were enthralled by the sight of racing cars and drivers, oblivious to their weighty future. 
Outright victory eluded the team again, but Romulus managed a third place. The two racing princes returned to England to find they were now household names. After an exciting duel with the top British driver Arthur Dobson, Beera and Romulus won the Imperial Trophy at Crystal Palace. This victory helped Beera to win the Gold Star Trophy for the second successive year. Bill Morris, ERA authority and driver. We must remember that it was always incredibly difficult for the Thai princes to break into a sport totally monopolised by the Europeans. The fact that they achieved this must be attributed to Prince Chula applying management techniques to his racing teams, probably before the Germans did with the Mercedes team. Confident now of their recognition in Europe, Chula and Beer returned to Thailand in 1937, taking Romulus with them. Thousands lined the streets to witness the occasion. Public excitement was intense when Beera drove Romulus, the now legendary British racing car, in a demonstration drive up and down Rajadamnan Avenue. <laughs> 